Hey guys, this is TC Made with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you a video real quick for the ACF 2.0 series, and this video is going to be about how to create a C++ project and migrate the demo project into that environment. And the reason we want to do that in some cases is because there are other plugins and things that we want to compile, or later on we might want to turn this into a an online game and use a compiled version server, or whatever. Now, this won't necessarily work for that particular application with the server because you need a source build of the Unreal Engine, but this process is pretty similar, so I just want to kind of go through it with you. Um, one prerequisite for this is that you're going to have the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio installed, so I recommend going to Microsoft.com, their official website, and then you're going to go to All Microsoft, and under Developer and IT, click the Visual Studio button and go in here to where it says download visual studio and you're going to get the latest edition which right now is community 2019 and that will download an installer for you and give you the opportunity to install it if you already own or have a copy of visual studio you can also go into the visual studio installer and you can click the modify button and make sure either during installation or after installation that you have installed certain features some of those will include desktop development with c and also you want game development with C++. These need to be installed and enabled in order to properly build a C++ project. So once you have those things uh, set up and installed, now you can go into the launcher and launch your Unreal um, Engine, and you'll be able to go into the section where you build a new game, and you go to Next, and I usually just use a blank project, and I'll say Next and turn this into C++. And I'm just going to pick an installation directory, which for me, fine, uh, would be D drive. And I'm going to call this uh, ACF underscore, and I'll just call it CPP underscore master, just so we know what it is. And I will say create project. Now, this is just going to be empty. The other thing that I do is I take, while this is building, I'm going to go over here and show you that I have a copy of the ACF sample that's in the blueprint version. And what I would do in here is I go into the settings for this, I go to project settings, and I go down through each of the ones that um, need to be migrated over to the new project so that it's just easier to set up. So the first place I would go is gameplay tags, and I want to go over here and hit the export button. And when I export, I would go out to somewhere like a desktop folder, I have one called ACF files, and these are called gameplay tags backup, so I would just create a file like ACF gameplay tags, I would overwrite this or whatever, and I would just export that file out. So that's my gameplay tags. I would also go down here to where it says Ascent Combat Framework. I would go out here and do the same thing, and I would export that file. Again, I'm going to take it out to my desktop, ACF Files, and this is called Ascent Combat Framework Backup. I just take the dates off of them. You can leave them on there if you want to. Then there's also Ascent Load and Save. We're going to export that file out as well, same process. And then one for Ascent RPG System. Also export that file out to a, uh, a folder so that you have them. And last but not least, don't forget the input. Uh, input, you can do the same thing out here. It's got your input and access mapping for all the things that are in the sample. And you just export these out. Now that you have done that and... Uh, your other project should have loaded by now. It's actually generating the code still. Um, we'll give that a second. And when it's done, I'll be back. So when the package gets done uh, installing the new file there, it's actually going to launch your Visual Studio environment. And I'll just let that run for a second. It's also launching in the background this ACF CPP master project at the same time. So we'll just give that a second to uh, to load up. And I, I had starter content turned on in my package build. It doesn't matter whether you have that or not. Um, you may not want the starter content in yours. You don't have to have that enabled or installed. Okay, once that brings your package up, what we will do is we're going to go in here and bring in those new files. And we're going to do this in a particular order. Now, right now, when you bring in a new project, it brings up the section for new plugins being available. And we're not going to open that yet. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to Settings, Project Settings. And we're going to go into Gameplay Tags. And you can see that there are none in here. And we're going to go Import 
and go to the folder that we created on our desktop and we're only going to import the ACF gameplay tags first. When you do this, you'll see that it loads in a couple of things you could go through here, but it's actually not populated a lot of the stuff that's in here yet. And I don't know if this is a glitch with, um, with Unreal Engine or whatever when you load this file in, but it didn't load all of the data. So what we do is we bring that one in first for gameplay tags, then what we're going to do is go down here and say manage plugins. We're going to go to ACF tools or installed and look for ACF and then we're just going to enable the ACF plugin and we're going to hit restart now. And when we do that, we can actually close this um this Unreal, or I mean the uh background Unreal project that was launched to CPP Master. We can get rid of that uh window back there. But when this restarts the project, now we can go over here and we can go back to settings and go back to project settings and look at our gameplay tags and they'll actually be loaded now so everything came in and you want to do this first because you're going to be using these gameplay tags in the other sections when you bring them uh, into the project and if these aren't loaded yet they're not going to uh, show up and if they don't show up you're not going to be able to populate them uh, the easy way so what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to ascent combat framework and we'll do the same thing you notice that there's nothing in here yet we're going to go to import back out to our desktop file folder and we're going to bring in Ascent Combat Frameworks backup file from the INI and see this populates but it doesn't it doesn't bring anything in here so the easy way to do this is to left click on the edit button and then just click away from it so I'm just going to click out of it so left click and click away and it actually pulls up the default that was under the file and you don't have to select anything and you're going to expand out root tags and do the same thing. Just left click the drop down, it'll pre populate, and you click off of it. I don't know why it has to do that, but it does. But again, this is the quick way to just load these in. And under default classes, you can do the same thing. You can pull this one up. Now, this is going to want a world item class, and what you want is a world, uh, ACF world item. And under damage calculator, uh, you want to do the ACF damage calculator. Now, there's also one that's in the sample project. And in the sample project, when you bring that in, you may want to switch these over to the ACF sample damage calculator because I think it's actually built specifically for that project. But again, this is you know just building the base. We're going to go to Ascent Load and Save. And same thing, there shouldn't be anything in here yet. And we're going to go in and say Import and go out to our desktop, ACF Files, Ascent Load and Save, bring that in. And that will populate all of our component data in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, and the last one here for Ascent RP, or not the last one, but for RPG system, we'll import that. Go out to our desktop, to our ACF files, and that is our RPG system backup file. Again, left click, click away, and then just let it make those selections for you. And we'll check in here and see if any of that got pulled in, which it did. So these should be populated and everything should be okay there. Okay? Just have some of those little drop downs at the bottom that you have to populate uh, with the left click and click away method. Last but not least, we go to input. We're going to go to our action mapping section and access mapping. Make sure that these are not populated with anything. And we say import here, desktop, and we want to go to ACF files and our input backup. Now that's going to bring us all of our action mappings in and all of our access mappings. Okay. Now at this point right here, um, because you have the plugin enabled and you have the project loaded with all the tags and everything, you could start to build ACF related stuff. For example, if you came in here and just said, um, you know, you wanted to build a new blueprint, you go to all classes and you just type in ACF, you'll start to see things here. You could build this from the ground up. Now I'm going to bring in the sample project data just to show that this is working okay. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go over to our other uh, sample project that we had, which is back here at the ACF sample. And usually what I do is I just, the full sample folder here, I'm just going to right click on this and say show in Explorer. I'm going to go out and get back to the content directory and go to full sample here. Right click on that and just say copy. And then I'll just minimize that and go back to my other project for the CPP master. And same thing, I'll just go content show an explorer and I'm in that content directory right click on here and just say paste and that'll bring in the sample okay <clears throat> now that full sample folders in here I can go click on full sample bring up the um, the main window here and let that compile and I'm not gonna wait for the whole thing but when I hit play 
you should see that I have the project here and I'm actually whoops uh, hit the F11 so yeah you should, you should see the things are working here and uh, if I grab my sword or my bow all that stuff's working still compiling shaders so it's a little laggy here for a second but there it is so that's your ACF migration to a C++ project and what you'll see out here now I'll just go this way so when you go out to the show and explorer wherever that is when you get into that folder you'll now have all kinds of new folders that you didn't have before like you're gonna have source and intermediate content by bi or the binaries and all that kind of stuff and you'll also have the solution file so in some other tutorials down the road we may talk about adding in other plugins and then having to build the file this way there's other ways to do what I'm showing you this is just the way that I uh, know how to do it and hopefully it makes it easier for you and uh, again thanks for watching my name is TC made with TC gaming have a great night and I'll see you in a uh, new video coming up soon